हेलो एवरीबॉडी दिस इज़ अभिषेक बघेरवाल वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो इन टुडे इज वीडियो आई विल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू इनेबल एस एस ओ इन सेल्स फोर्स ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फॉर डेमोइंग पर्पज आई एम गोन अ यूज दिस एक्सीम सिंगल साइन ऑन टेस्टिंग एंड ट्रबल शूटिंग स्वीट टू इनेबल द एस एस ओ इन सेल्स फोर्स ओके सो लेट्स गो टू द सेल्स फोर्स ऑर्क and uh, to enable the sso i need to go to single sign on settings under the setup okay once you reach on this page click add it and you need to enable saml okay once you enable it click save okay now let's create the settings for the single sign on so you need to click new okay so there are some information we need to provide here so let's start with the name so let's say axiom sso okay that's the name i'm giving now then the next field is issuer that is mandatory field you need to provide so under the issuer you need to provide this axiom sso.herokuweb.com url so i will copy it and i will paste it over here then on the right side you can see the field of entity id so here you have to provide the url of your salesforce org okay so i'll just paste it over here now next mandatory field is identity provider certificate okay so in our case the axiom is our identity provider so here i'll just go to saml identity providers and testers okay so here you can see the download the identity provider certificate okay so once you click on it it will download the certificate i'll come back to this settings and i'll just click on choose file and the certificate i am going to choose okay once that is done let's move on to the request signature method that we need to select as rsa sh1 okay then saml identity type we need to uh, we do not need to select any specific it depends upon which uh, users field you would like to have to do the sso so in my case i'm going to make use of federation id field on the user object okay then uh, keep it same for the saml identity location for in service provider re initiated request binding just select http redirect okay once that is done that's all we need to provide over here in this setting click save okay so below you can see some of the urls have been generated so one of the url login url we are going to need to configure it in the axiom okay so basically whenever you do the single sign on with uh, some other entity provider you need to make the configuration on both of the sites okay so on the salesforce if i am going to uh, provide the sso i need to do the configuration over here as well as whatever the identity provider i am going to use there also i need to do some configuration okay so uh, the configuration on salesforce side is completed now let's go to our axiom portal and uh, here you can see this generate tab and under that click on generate a saml response okay so it uh, asks us for some of the information so first saml version we need to select as 2.0 now it asks for the username or federation id so i have to provide a specific federation id over here so let's do configure it here first so i'll just go to my user okay advanced user details and on this user object there is a field for federation id so let's say i'm providing some value over here so this is the federation id i am providing over here i'll just copy it and save it now you need to provide that federation id over here as well 
now let's go to the other information field so in the issuer because our issuer is the xcm app or xcm sso heroku app so i'll just copy this url again and i will provide it here now under the recipient url you need to provide the url under the sso setting that is the login url so i'll just copy it over from here and i'll paste it over here now next field is entity id so for entity id i need to provide the url of my org okay and this you have provided on your sso setting in salesforce also over here okay SSO start page URL keep it as same no change and no change in any other fields once that is done click on request SAML response okay now it has generated plain text and for formatted SAML response uh, you do not need to go into the details of this XML whatever is generated to test it out what we can do there is a button down here you can see login button okay so if every configuration all of the configuration is correct then once you click on this login your salesforce this or should be logged in with the user which you have used for the federation id okay i have used my user only for uh, for testing purpose because i have given the federation id over here and here also i have given in the configuration the same federation id so let's try it i'll just click login so as you can see it has redirected me to my org so that means our configuration is correct okay and our sso has been implemented successfully so that's how you can make use of xcm heroku app to test out the sso functionality provider could be different in your case as well that is for sure but similar kind of configuration has to be done in your salesforce and in the identity provider and uh, both of the side you need to make the configuration okay so that's how you can implement sso in salesforce okay so that was all about this video if you find this video helpful please like it and comment on it for more please subscribe to my channel as abhishek bagherwal thank you